Puck Fair wouldn't be Puck Fair without its tinkers. They come to Kilorglan from all over Ireland and give Puck the name of being as much a tinker festival as anything else. Until recently, they brought their tents and caravans right into the town until the county council banned them. Well, um, I am a member of the local committee of Puck Fair and a member of the Kerry County Council. Uh, the councils uh, stand on this uh, issue of the inhabitants parked on the bridge and uh, on the side of the Killarney Road uh, were uh, very clearly defined in 1960. Due to representations made by the people of this town to the county council, the county medical officer of health at that time uh, investigated uh, the hygienic conditions under which these people lived and uh, uh, he reported back to the council that they were indeed very unsatisfactory. Uh, after that, the county engineer uh, investigated the traffic conditions and uh, they were very chaotic uh, before, during and after Puck. Especially during Puck, when you had uh, all these caravans along the side of the road and kids liked to run across the road at any particular time, like, you know, no control kept over them very much. Uh, it was highly dangerous. Uh, a motion came up under the normal um, uh, notice of motion at the council asking that uh, a prohibition area be set up and this was done in um, late 1960, I think it was. Uh, it was done under the um, Local Government uh, Sanitary Services Act of 1948. And uh, this prohibition order uh, uh, prohibited the erection of temporary dwellings within three quarters of a mile of the Garda Barracks in any direction around town. And how do the travelling people feel about being treated as second-class citizens? Uh, the name is Mike O'Brien. I'm a horse dealer. And this fair has a big hindrance to us with the past five years. At the moment now, we has already been put up on the old railway grounds in Kilargland. And uh, from there, any of the passing public, is the, well, they don't see much of the caravans or even what is going on. There is no very little at all if there is any caravan to be seen. And uh, it may not appeared that way as towards the people of Killarglen because they know they are there, but it can appear in many thousand ways to the foreigner, which is visiting those places during those occasions. So we would be grateful to the people of Killarglen or to anybody which would come under that to do as to bring back this American site to the bridge at Killarglen as we once used to be at. And what about local residents? How do they feel? The Norman family of Sir Desmond Fitzmaurice have lived round Kiloglan for 700 years. You'll see their caravans in gay colours lining, bordering the River Lown, and they were all over the place. Sometimes almost too much so. For instance, um, you might wake up one morning and find 20 horses in a field of turnips. Well, that wasn't, of course, quite so popular, but um, I suppose really the damage that was done might have been exaggerated. But in a way, I'm sorry to see so few tinkers now in, at Puck Fair because they were undoubtedly a very colourful feature of the place. Well, the inhabitants or the tinkers as we uh, call them uh, more often, they, they, they are colourful colourful enough, they did have very colourful parades. Uh, the big problem with them is that uh, th they are, uh, they tend to be a little bit on the unhygienic side, like, and um, the local committee anyway feel that uh, we'd like to bring the pop fair into modern ideas.